we got uh, three grades playing today, under 18s through to first grade obviously, and um, we're uh, playing against the Grafton Rhinos, and they're, they're a new club that was formed a couple of years ago. Sort of uh, they're coming together two new clubs, I suppose, in this competition. Today's a good day for footy, and uh, hopefully we get a good, good crowd about down here to support our local boys uh, do, do their job today. We established ourselves about seven years ago. In doing that, we originally started to just take part in the knockouts. It was a, a club that we, we were wanting to just set up and I suppose look after the boys around our area. Firstly competing the knockouts, but then the dream got a bit bigger and, and you know, that within that, uh, wanting to hopefully one day play in a mainstream competition. It's been good, it's been exciting, it's had its ups, it's had its downs. It's just good to be, be, be a part of it. I um, exhibit overseas, I've been doing a lot of mills around the area, over the airport and up at uh, Aquatic Centre of Lismore. I said I'd you know, just get behind our local side and uh, sponsor a few of the boys and uh, help them out the first season. And, uh, you've got to just help the mob. You know, you've got to be behind them, behind your mob and help them out. So yeah, I sponsor five of the boys. I've got three, three of them in A grade and two in reserve grade. Very proud of them. Very proud of the boys and Chris and the whole committee, you know. It's a big achievement for them. Oh, Lismore is the regional centre of, of Mundjalung country, so uh, Northern Rivers area of New South Wales. It's been a dream of so many elders, you know, who have been past and present involved with rugby league in the area. And to finally have a team in the competition, has been a, it's been a big buzz around the community. Go Shake! Yeah, it's good to come out here today and, and see them play Grafton, which is a bit of a full-on team. I hope they come home with a win today for all grades, but it's good to see the young fellas as well, the under 18 getting a win here today. Yeah, looking forward to the reserves in the A grade team. Yes, we're coming back! Yeah, we share the ground here with brothers, uh, Morris brothers. We actually play with them, we've got a competition called the Bungie Cup. When we meet them, it's at the end of the, end of the competition, whoever gets the most points between us and them, they win the Bungie Dunk Cup, and that's something that we've initiated with them. And yeah, so it's pretty good that way. So everyone's looking forward, and it's a nice big uh, cup as well, the Bungie Dunk Cup. Yeah. This is started off with some guys, Russell Capine, Corey Roberts, Noli King. They all got together and actually went over the knocker. They took the team away for knocker, and Chris Binge, who's our A grade coach at the moment, they took away the side away for the knockout and they decided, well, why don't we have to try to put a team in the competition? And we tried for the last uh, three years, we get knocked back. First time we had to, they told us what we, we didn't meet some criteria, so in the second year we actually met the criteria, and the, they still got out, and they said, oh, because the third of their excuse was, oh, we'll actually weaken the other clubs. Our club is, like you know, all our committee followers are, are Indigenous, we open to anyone, anyone can come and play with us, no matter what colour or creed they are. Our club is a non-alcohol club and we don't sell alcohol at our grounds at all. We try to promote that, you know, like with that healthy living style as well. What we've done is because we've got people not just based on Lisbon but they're from like from Grafton up to Tweed, it's actually brought the community together and from as far as Tabulum and Mully Mully, like their little communities. Yeah, so it's really good actually. Yeah. Yeah.